busy summer coming from that trip to the Philippines and now stages in gymnastics and cheerleading it's so hard to find time to make videos but here we are we're back mega special oh my goodness you are special aren't you and so we don't have a name for her yet what do you think who's hiding so happy finally they're here can't wait to take them home It's early in the morning and such a beautiful day. It's not that hot yet, but who knows? So we're going to the breeding pen and I'm going to show you the new baby that, um, well actually she's not a baby. She is a seven month old Silky and she came from a, a breeder who shows her birds. Um, it's called Bailey's exotic silkies. So here, good morning, Stewie. All right, so these are the silkies that I've hatched myself. In fact, I have new babies. I'm gonna show you the new babies. They're underneath the um, underneath Breda, the Sarama hen, and there's a Frieza. My frizzle. She's got a Sirama baby underneath her as well and Selki. So here I am going to show you the new baby Marshy. And we got two roosters from the same breeder. Excuse me, my babies. Excuse me, I need to open the door. So here comes Marshy. Hi Marshy. It's short for marshmallow. So she's so sweet. And she would always eat off, eat off of my hand. So there's Marshy, Marshmallow. And we also got the, I think he is a chocolate. I was told by the breeder, um, he's a chocolate, silky, standard silky, but he looks like he's not fully feathered. And, um, that one is a dark blue. It looks more like a black to me though. So he's a rooster. He's a rooster. And Marshmallow is the only female I, I got. But I got from the breeder. But um, I'm going to meet them again on the 18th I believe. So I, don't, I haven't decided if I'm going to get more hands or just... 
um, straight runs chicks straight run chicks so here are the ones that I patch so she's a showgirl she's really pretty and there's this one uh oh and um, a few of the juveniles that I hatch as well if you can tell if you can see that the fluffiness on this one is nothing compared to how fluffy marshmallow is. That's why I want to breed Marsh Marshy with another booster from that breeder. That way they're really great quality silkies. I have beautiful silkies. Don't get me wrong. I have Lavi over there. And Lavi's busy laying on eggs. But um, she's really pretty. I've got a lot of really cute ones as well. But marshmallow marshy she's just really uh oh you're not supposed to be in there that's not your place hey 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 i know you're gonna be mean to them so here you go back there and you come back here because you're a newbie and you're gonna be tortured there they're not gonna like a new a new rooster there especially a rooster so here I would like to show you the other new ones that I got. These are Cochins. They're pretty mean, look. This rooster right there, he's really mean. And that one is a hen, a pullet. She's nice, but the, the roosters, the Cochin roosters are really mean. But, um, they're so pretty. I, I think I could tame those roosters eventually. Eventually, I would like what I would like to do is breed them with sulkies. That way, I could get satin someday. But I also am thinking of just giving them their own pen and just get pure cochins from them. I don't know. I haven't decided yet which route I would go. And then, these are the few ones that I've hatched myself. Oh. These are the new babies that were hatched by my Frizza. It was a Frizzled Silky. Frizzle, uh, frizzled Satin or Frizzled Silky. And then there's my Serama Brata. They're laying on a bunch of eggs right now. And these were hatched by... This was... This one is hatched by either Frieza or Bretta, but this one, she, this one was over there in the other pen with Lavi, but needed a little rescuing because it was, she was weak, and so I had to transfer this pretty baby right here underneath Bretta, and they alternate Bretta and um, Frieza. This one is a silky. See the black legs, and that one's a sirama. Now here, in this bed, we have Mr. Blue, Choco Mama with her babies. Here's an update to those baby siramas. Well, I'll give more about. I'll well, talk more about it in the next video. Um, actually, those babies are really really big now and there's two additional babies that is probably not out but underneath these other two broody oh it's really hot it's so dark in there um broody hands lavi i move lavi if you remember she was in the other pen all by herself but um i didn't want her to be on her own there i needed I need to make sure that she's not lonely. But right here, she's bullying the other hen, moving a, a lot of eggs underneath her from the other hen. I just want to show you the other two. Oh, there's the little tiny one. And then there's another one. Somewhere. Here goes Marshy. She's so pretty. I can't stop taking pictures of her. I can't wait to... Um, pick up uh, the rooster that I'm going to breed her with and it's also from a beautiful line all right hi 
So this is what she does. She loves to stay on my shoulder like this. Uh, well, I was on a treadmill walking slow. So she was just like this. Did not even move and it was enjoying the whole time. She was on my shoulder and um, you know, she's she's a joy to have around and um, I really I'm so blessed to have her. Right, Marshy? So there you go guys, you saw our really nice silky, our really great quality silky from a breeder who shows her birds and um, I saw the difference between a pet quality and a, a show quality. She's a show quality, our marshmallow is a show quality and we're looking forward to breed her with another um, show quality silky. So um, we'll give you updates on the breeding situation and on the next video we'll give you updates on the new Sirama on the Sirama babies and um, Breda and Stewie so see you guys next time please click like and subscribe and if you haven't hit that bell button yet please do so to get more updates